Politicians in Iowa are working overtime to take away what we've earned. Because of a new law recently signed by the governor, now public service workers only have a limited right to negotiate base wages and no right at all to bargain other important terms of employment. It's a huge challenge. But for at least one AFSCME member in Iowa, meeting challenges is a way of life. Jim Rook is a food service worker at the Iowa Veterans Home. His job is to haul gigantic carts throughout the home, making sure the people who serve our country get served good meals. It's hard work. It's even harder when you consider that he doesn't have use of the right side of his body. But Jim doesn't let it stop him. Giving back is in his DNA. For his resilience and commitment to Iowa veterans, Jim was nominated by one of his colleagues for a Never Quit Service Award. Watch this video to learn more about Jim Rook, an AFSCME brother who never, ever quits. My name is Jim Rook. I am a food service worker at the Iowa Veterans Home. I've been at the Veterans Home 33 years, right after high school. Uh, my dad was resident in 83. I applied, got the job just for the summer, and I've been there ever since. I had my accident in 1980. I was a junior in high school. I was in the hospital for four months. I lost everything. But my whole right side is still paralyzed to this day. I, I just had to adjust. I had to just mind over matter. Um, I have to just do it. I, I want to work and I'm, I'm still here. I, I noticed when I first started that he had a disability, he had a problem with his arm, but then I soon started finding out that uh, it wasn't a disability. He could work circles around some of us. He's a hard worker. Pulling carts is like 700 pounds. Uh, we rotate almost every day from different positions. Either I'm in the carts tugging, or I'm in the dish room loading or unloading the machine, or in pots and pans, or I carry trays a lot. That was one of the first things I noticed about him is his work ethic and his dedication at work, how he is with the residents. I think I'm a, a good friend for them. I listen what their stories are, and I understand. I've been there, you know, with my own accident, and they have the same struggles, just like me. The whole place is just like family to me. He's never negative. He never says he can't do it. He can do whatever he wants. I, I just I don't want to give up. I'm just I'm a fighter. I can retire in three more years, but I don't want to. I just want to serve the veterans as long as I can.